Ground control. Ground control. We've entered the blue zone! So exactly what is it you do over here, Bill? I have no idea. I write a check for you each week. I have no idea what you do. What sound do you do? effects, music, anything that makes sound. What happens if I do this? Get, well, you can't, well, it's all up here. It's all over the place. Oh, so they're not real people clapping. It's just respect. Well, no, they are real people clapping, but uh, we mix in this as well. There. Beautiful, beautiful. We're just loaded, and if we can't get it, we make it. <laughs> we make it. Great. Okay, so don't complain. I've never let you on camera before because you've been on camera more than enough this week. Thanks, all right? Man. So, Bill Carroll, tell us who our first three contestants are this afternoon on Test Pattern. Obviously, it's time to meet Alexis Legos. <laughs> and Gord Carter. Well! You already know our returning champion, Audrey yeah. Colpin. <laughs> Audrey, back again! Back again, Audrey. Okay, Audrey, since you are a returning champion, you get the chance to throw the brick first. Go ahead. But before we do that, I gotta bring the on deck person out. And who's today's on deck player, Bill? Waiting, waiting, waiting. It'll be Pete McLeod. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. How are you? You're looking swell. Stand over here so we can get some, okay. some really fancy TV shots of you. Okay. okay. You, know, you know, Pete, we've been on the, on the air now for, what, two years? About that. And, and we, we got a deck here. This is for people who, who are going to wait, come on and play the game. But I have chores for them to do. And since we want to decorate the place up a bit, if you could manage this for me, it's a little uh, parrot felt thing. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, went, I went to buy some art, and they wanted at least like 50 bucks. You're kidding. 50 bucks to, I think there's something by Picasso, and he's dead, and it was like 5 million, like, you know? So, can you put this together? It's just glue in these, there's a chart. Okay. Put the chart, just glue this onto here, and we'll be checking your progress. But if they hit switch on the board, you'll be doing it. Right. Give a round of applause as he does it. Okay, the rules are very simple of our game. Audrey, you know them, so you might as well take a nap. Each player, in turn, will get a brick. They'll throw the brick at the video wall. Behind the screens are various question categories, everything from soup to Elvis. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Behind the other screens, you can win points, prizes, or lose points. But be very careful, because if you hit the word switch, you got to change places with Pete over here and finish the parrot drawing, OK? You ready? Audrey, throw the brick, see what happens. Yes, Audrey! Pete, you get behind the podium. He's barely started, so it'll become your own work, Audrey. We'll trust you for that. Gord, you go down there. You throw the brick. You'll find them tastefully planted. Come on. Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch. You big fans of the Brady Bunch? Watch it all the time? Yeah. Who's your favorite Brady? Marsha. Marsha. <laughs> Did she get breasts early? Yeah. <laughs> Did? How many, how many Brady kids make up a bunch? Go. Six. Six is right. Yeah. <laughs> you know Alice, the housekeeper? What kind of hairdo does Alice sport? A beehive. A beehive is right, Peter. <laughs> Speaking of Alice, the housekeeper, who's her main squeeze? The butcher. Sam. <laughs> no! It's Sam the Butcher. Sam the Butcher. Okay, give him 10 points. He's close enough. I don't know why. I don't know why I do things like this. I'm not too sure. Sing the next line. Here's a story. About a man named Brady. 
wrong. I'll finish it for the oh. other two. Oh. Here's a story of a lovely lady. Go ahead. Who had three girls? No. Who was bringing up three, three very lovely girls. Beautiful, beautiful journey. All of them are here gold, like your like brother, it, Alexis. Show the brick, Alexis, a very oh, nice name. Here she goes. Oh. <laughs> you, you want some help, Alexis? Okay. Yeah, no, go ahead. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> instant prize! Instant prize! Today's instant prize, incidentally, is a free limo ride. So I'll be giving it to you later. We're a little light on time, so get behind the podium. I'm going to take my best shot. I'm going to wind up. Here we go. Soap is the category. Soap. So, I'm going to play some soap. Here we Pete, you ever use soap? I, okay, then I'll go over here. <laughs> what is the name of the manicurist who sells palm olive and tells you? Madge. Madge is right. <laughs> tells you that you're soaking in it. True or false, Mr. Bubble is the name of the president of Procter & Gamble. Go ahead, Alex. False. False. <laughs> Pete, it's a bubble bath. <laughs> Finish the title of these daytime soap operas, The Young and the Blank. Pete? Restless. Restless. <laughs> Days of our lives. And finally, all my children. Children is right. <laughs> Three good players. We get 50 points for Alexis, 30 points for Pete, and Gore's just watching with 10 points. We're going to be right back after this. Stick around. <laughs> down to Country Style, where you can savor piping hot soup and succulent sandwiches. Catch a friend, catch the country fresh, country good feeling at Country Style. What can make a great time truly great? Take a splash of what's hot, a pinch of something wild, and a dash of the unexpected. Then you shake it up. Some people call it the blue zone. The blue zone from La Bats. It's out there. I just really like the guitar a lot, and I really like writing, so I, I put the two of them together. It's my idea of bliss. This Sunday on City Limits, on the dirty boulevard. Christopher Ward hits the streets of New York with Dee Dee Ramone. I'm still with the Ramones. And his new look. But I, I like rap. I think it's like the new punk rock. Watch those sales just take off, huh? Plus the replacements bear all. That's what they look like. Uh. It's a slice of the Big Apple this Sunday on City Limits. something you have to do to get this right? Have you figured this out already? Oh, yeah. That's fun, is it? You want to know? Well, sure. Give us a little okay, brief. Okay, well, you've got the numbers here, and they tell you the numbers all on this little parrot, and they tell you what color is beside each one. So you pick from these wonderful little pieces of felt, and you stick them on. Are you in math, or what are you in? <laughs> you I'm an sure? engineer. <laughs> Listen, you won yesterday, and Bill's going to tell us, Bill's going to tell us what the five-time winner takes. Bill, what are they going to take on with them? It's a trip to sunny California. Courtesy of Dan Team, our grand prize winner is going to Los Angeles, California to take part in a celebrity rockin' sports contest. During four action-filled days, you'll play golf, softball, and even bowl with some of your favorite rock and roll stars. This fabulous prize from Dan Team. This is the part of the show where I like to uh, meet the contestants, let the audience at home meet the contestants and find a little bit about them. Alexis, Alexis Lagos? Yes. You're related to the, the toy? No, it's Lego. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a typo. 20 years old, you're a student? Yep. Yeah, and uh, any interesting thing we should know? Or? No, I just, no, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you're just darn happy to have a limo ride, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and Gord, you're a student. Where do you go to school? So Sanford Fleming and Lindsay. And Lindsay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Lindsay, what do you study there? Forest recreation. Great. <laughs> Forest recreation? Yeah. Where you teach bears how to do ro roaming on the roads and stuff? Yeah. And, and uh, it says here, belly flop contest in January, out of doors, like in the wintertime. What happened there? Oh, uh, actually, it only worked out. There was only eight inches. In the water. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to... 
Well, it was fun. Well, it you're was probably fun. hurt. Then. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Pete McLeod. You started over there, and now you're over here, and Audrey's uh, doing a portrait for us. It says here, your unusual experiences are marriage and skydiving. That's right. What's more difficult, uh, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> skydiving. Skydiving is more difficult. Was it scary the first time? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, why don't you take a break, throw it at the wall, we'll start asking some more questions. Give him a round of applause if he does so. <laughs> so your fingers... Wait, are you happily married? Yeah. Yeah, you're happily married. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Movie soundtrack! <laughs> the, your shirt is lovely pressed. Must have been his wife laughing. <laughs> what new type of dancing did Patrick Swayze and jo Oh, here we go. Dirty dancing. Dirty dancing is right, Alexis. <laughs> Can you answer through that smile in your teeth? It's a bit difficult. Hard day's night, help, and happiness. Uh-oh. Here we go. Alexis, you could have ruined it here for yourself. The Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say the rest of the question for you other two. Alexis, you can't buzz in. Which one of these Beatles songs was not a Beatles movie? Hard Day's Night, Help, or Happiness is a Warm Gun? Go ahead, Pete. Happiness is a Warm Gun. From the White Album, Happiness is a Warm Gun is not a Beatles movie. <laughs> Who sang the movie soundtrack title of Against All Odds? Phil Alexis? Collins. Phil Collins did. That's the right answer. <laughs> and finally, Nobody Does It Better, Goldfinger, and For Your Eyes Only. We're from what spies films? James Bond. James Bond is right, Peter. Good. Take a break. We're throwing it against the wall. Hey, okay, Gord. <laughs> Heavy metal, buddy. <laughs> you a heavy metal fan? <laughs> <laughs> Thought from Lindsay, maybe you would be. I don't know. <laughs> For our American viewers, Lindsay's a place where they wear a lot of check shirts and hats turned backwards. <laughs> so, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Give me a break. Anyway, true or false, bronze consists of copper and gold. Pete. True. It's the wrong answer, Pete. Guard? False. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Proving once again there is merit in a college education. <laughs> Black Sabbath, Metallica, or Deep Purple? What band did Ozzy Osbourne originally... Alexis? Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath's the right answer. I guess your brother or mother told you all about that, is that? True or false? Def Leppard is an American band. True. False. Good going, Dirty! <laughs> You're awesome. You... you are totally hot. <laughs> and finally, in this category... Who's the famous musician that Valerie Bertinelli married? Alexis. Eddie, uh, Van Halen. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Eddie Van Halen. Okay, Alexis, have you thrown a, have you thrown a brick twice? Uh, no. Nope. Well, then go ahead. It's your okay. turn. Got any hobbies, Alexis, that weren't on the card or anything? Tropical fish. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean? Well, you know, tropical fish in aquariums. That's yeah. my hobby. <laughs> Your hobby. You just yeah. look at them? Yeah, they're just they're colorful, you know about, fun, and peaceful animals. Any, any diseases we should be aware of with tropical fish? No. Ick? Ick? No. No, forget it. <laughs> Ick's a disease. Ooh. One more, one more. Baseball! <laughs> Baseball! Thank you. I just like hearing that. Casey, Reggie, or Mookie? Who struck out in Mudville? Gord? Casey. Casey's the right answer. <laughs> Mash's Corporal Klinger supported a baseball team for, for his hometown. Were they the Toledo Mud Hens? Oh, this would be good. Toledo Mud Hens. That's the right answer. <laughs> I felt like Alex Trebek there for a minute. It was really working for me. How many balls before a walk? Pete? Four. Four is right. And finally, Rip Nielsen of Cheap Trick, Angus Young of ACDC, or Mick Mars from Motley Crue? <laughs> uh, Angus Young? No. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> Which of these guitar players is not known for wearing a baseball cap? Too late. 
Rick Nelson wears one, Angus Young, and Mick Myers doesn't know what baseball is. So, Bill, who's going to be our first guest in the spinner this afternoon? Hit it! Who is it? Tell me all about it today! Well, as we found out yesterday, Dan, we get dizzy just thinking about this. Here's John Murphy! John Murphy! You come on down, John Murphy, when you come back. When you come back at home, John Murphy's going to be strapped in a real desk and you're going to take a short commercial break. Put that on. who's in town a little early this year with his cream eggs from Cadbury. They've got a shell of thick Cadbury's milk chocolate and a sweet creamy yellow yolk surrounded by delicious white filling. They're here now along with Cadbury's milk chocolate filled mini eggs. We suggest you pick some up soon because when Easter's gone, so are the eggs. Right now, you can get up to $250 back towards the cost of bike insurance and a rider training program when you buy a new Yamaha. But as any experienced rider will tell you, that's not all you can get. Right now, your Yamaha dealer has an incredible insurance rebate program good for up to $200. But the really good thing is that it comes with something no other dealer can offer. A new Yamaha. Destiny is brought to you by the choice of a new generation, Pepsi. Bill, tell me who's winning. It's still up for grabs, Dan. Pete's replacement, uh, the one who replaced Audrey, sits with 70. Gord has 40 points, and Alexis leads with 90. Yeah! <laughs> okay, who, who's our lucky spinner today in the wheel? What's your name? John Murphy. John, where are you from, John? I'm from Toronto. Now, I was reading, when you were in Jamaica recently, you sang in front of 500 people. How was that? It was great. I was singing in Quebecois. Really? Yeah. yeah what's, what song were you... <laughs> <laughs> you voudrais voir la... I kind of guessed that. Quebecois was French. And what, what song were you singing? Je voudrais voir la mer et autre chose. And in English? Right. We're inside, after right. all. Right. Right. Nothing. No, good. Nothing. Good for you. Who's winning, Bill? Audrey leads, Dan. Come on down, Audrey. You're our first spinner on Sorry, the Sorry, Dan, not Audrey. Audrey doesn't lead. She's out of there for the moment. Alexis. Alexis, Alexis, how are you? Okay, you realize, you know what happens here, don't you? We're gonna spin the wheel. If you hit going, going, a few things to do. The only one that's real difficult, Audrey, Alexis, is if you hit gone. If you hit gone, I gotta throw you out of the studio. It's the way it goes, okay? You ready? Well, not really, but you don't get to play anymore. Okay, go ahead, spin the wheel. Put your head in there. <laughs> right, give it another, give it a, can she spin it a bit harder? Or is that good enough for you? Is that all you want? That was great. There you go. Okay. Scrape and win. Okay. Can I have all the contestants around that TV set over there? As I get my cards. It's scrape and win time. Scrape and win. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Get over by the TV set. This TV monitor has been covered with one of my favorite substances. That substance being peanut butter. <laughs> behind, behind the monitor. Is a, is a celebrity, a famous celebrity, and you're gonna take one of these trowels, just like you would at home. Oh, here we go. One of these, just like you would in the winter time. It's called, what's what we call it, scrape and win. Take that, and you go from one edge to the other. You might make one sweep. You don't chip away at it. Just go, and you guess who the celebrity or the event or whatever it is behind it is. Yeah, you, just, just one, one sweep, okay. okay? For 40 points, right off the bat, can you guess who it is behind there now? <laughs> it's 
It's a little trick question. Okay, Alexis, give it a shot. Alexis gets the first guess. Oh, good. You can either eat that or put it on the floor, either way. Okay. Put it down on the floor. You get one scrape. Can you guess? Cher? Cher is right! Cher is right! Come on back to the podium. Cher is right. Alexis gets 30 points. Gord, Gord, you come back here. You're going to spin the wheel. Give Gord a round of applause as he spins it. Give it a good spin, Gord. Eggplant! Beautiful! Get over by the golf course. Get over there by the golf course. It's time to play egg putt once again. Here on... <laughs> Here's our lovely caddy, Luciano Hogan. Luciano Hogan, our lovely caddy. Thank you very much. When we play egg putt, what happens is you get a chance to putt the egg into the gaping orifice at the end of the, at the fairway. Luch, can you reveal the orifice? Today's orifice is a turkey. So you just step up. I feel like Bob Barker doing this all of a sudden. So you step up and you just line it up a bit. Okay, it will work. And so you shoot better than that, you'll get it in, okay? 40 points if you get it right in, 30 points whoever's the closest. And Luch will take care of you from now on in. You know, just uh, keep playing. Thank you. Looks like a. Gord's lining up his shot. The green is slow today, and the opening they're putting that into, by the way. Oh, very close. The opening they're putting into is known as the cloaca. And Dan, if I can just help you out here a little bit, a little trivia about our course. Ironically, the cloaca is where the egg would normally exit the body <laughs> toward the turkey, still gobbling. Time for the next part here. Thank you. Oh! Very close, Dan. And here's our final golfer for today, Alexis. Let's see what she can do. Few people know this, that the turkey is considered the stupidest animal in the, in the wild kingdom. Apparently during rainstorms, the turkey will look up at the rain and drown himself doing so. <laughs> I lost a friend that way in high school once, Dan, as well. And here's the putt. Alexis, you can step right on the green if you wish. We're whispering like those fancy golf guys. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, Wh who's, whose ball was that? Whose egg was that, Luch? Pete? Oh, Pete gets 30 points. He was closest to the pin. Give Pete 30 points. And Pete, not only that, get back here. It's your turn to spin. Give it a big spin. Here we go. Quickly, give it a big hard one. No! Woo! All right. Spinner winner. No, 20 points. Pete, you get 20 points. 20 points you get. We're going to be right back after this for a short commercial break. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Thank you a lot. The Wheel of Destiny was brought to you by the choice of a new generation, Pepsi. This is $11,589, you can bulk up a hard body king cab with all these options. And we'll throw in this attractive carrying case for nothing. For $900 worth of options at no extra cost, see your nearest Nissan dealer now. The Nissan Sentra costs $1,000 less than a Honda Civic. And in terms of reliability, it has a much better health record. See your nearest Nissan dealer now. just can't improve on, and this is one of them, Beeman's Chewing Gum. What can make a great time truly great? Take a splash of what's hot, a pinch of something wild, and a dash of the unexpected. Then you shake it up. 
Some people call it the blue zone. The blue zone from La Bat. It's out there. Catch a friend and share that country fresh, country good feeling at Country Style. Enjoy garden fresh salads, great soups and sandwiches, serve the Country Style way! Yeah! You know, Audrey, you're our bigger winner last time. We're not going to get a chance to play the lightning round. But here, we do me a favor? Will you autograph this so we can keep it on the deck? And Bill, will you tell us how our viewers at home can get on? All our contestants come from our studio audience to stand, so if you're planning a visit to Toronto and would like to see Test Pattern in person, drop us a card with your name, address, and telephone number, or in Toronto, call 596-8119 any weekday from 9 come to 5. On, it's free! We can't wait to see you! Come on, Alexis, do it! I feel like dancing, Alexis! Enough. It's our lightning round. What happens here is I ask a series of rapid-fire lightning questions. They require short answers. You'll get 10 points for each answer that's correct and no points if you won't, okay? That's self-explanatory. Give me 58 seconds on the clock. Hands on the desk. When you buzz in, put them back again. Are we ready to go? Go. go. What new wave geeks told you to step on a crack and break your mother's back? Devo's the answer. What are the two ingredients in a black Russian? Pete? Vodka and milk. Wrong, vodka and Kahlua. Where do the kids of Degrassi go when they graduate? Degrassi Junior High? Degrassi Junior High? <laughs> Wrong! Degrassi High School. Who played Luke Skywalker? Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is right! What's the capital of the Northwest Territories? <laughs> Yellow Knight. What's, what is John Merritt fair known as? Alexis! Yellow Man. Yes, he is! <laughs> In Greek mythology, what was Jason looking for? Uh, he, Golden the Golden Fleece. Horror store Robert England is better known by what name? Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger is right! Who's Canada's singing snowbird? Anne Murray. Murray is right. What company brings good things to life? Goodwill. General Mills. Yeah, General Electric. I can't give it to you. What part of Geraldo's face was broken by radical Nazi skinhead? His what? nose. His nose. The Beatles drummer Richard Starkey is known as what? Star. Bill, who is our winner? What do they win? Dan, Alexis, and Pete were tied going into the final round, and the winner is Alexis Legos. <laughs> Beautiful. Take, take your helmet off, Alexis. Come on with me. What are they going to take home with them, Bill? From Casio, the CT370 Tone Bank Electronic Keyboard. Up to 210 instrument sound combinations are possible. Say Casio Tone Bank for the best sounds imaginable. <laughs> Come on down, you guys. Alexis, this is a, a little tradition here at Test Pattern. We get our winners to sign our fame, our wall of fame. Can we get a shot of that? The wall of fame. Alexis, put your name there. Maybe your telephone number for posterity. I don't know. <laughs> My name's Dan Gallagher. We've had a great time here at Tesper. You guys got anything you want to tell the home audience? Tell them about the game? Bye. Did great. you have a good time? Great. Yeah. Did you have a good time out in the audience? Yes! We'll see you. Speaking of time, we'll see you next time on Test Batter. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. Sorry, you know. Limousines for test pattern provided by Wise Choice. Relax in the rich leather interior, complete with TV, VCR, CD, phone, sunroof, and bar. Arrive at your destination on time and in style. In Toronto, it's Wise Choice. <laughs>